We have two very starry topics to talk about today. One includes just a little bit of love, and one includes something that all cruisers know and love, especially for the last five to eight years. And hey, if there's one thing that this cruise industry loves, that's giving away stuff on their birthday. Holland America celebrating their 150th birthday, and they're giving you almost almost a free cruise plus a whole lot more controversial cruise news coming up next something that the cruise industry can't get enough of is giving away stuff on their birthday that's right holland america is celebrating 150 years now I've never personally sailed on Holland America, but they have to be doing something right if they've been in business for 150 years. Now, there's a special inaugural transatlantic sailing on the MS Rotterdam, going currently right now to Rotterdam, England. And they're going to do a special birthday celebration once they get there. There's actually uh, Tony from La Lido Loca and Doug Parker, who does cruise news every single day. They are both on that ship right now. They caught it in New York, and they're going to do the sailing to Rotterdam and go through the entire celebration. So I cannot wait to watch their journey. If you don't already watch them, I'm going to tag them in here. Um, please watch their story because that is going to be a historical, a historical sailing. Now, as some of you know, Carnival has done their 50th year celebration, and cruise lines love, love to give away stuff on their birthday. Now, Virgin, it may not be their birthday, but they're doing something that, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if any cruise line can top. $600 onboard credit for the bar? That's basically free drinks for the entire cruise. I mean, how could you say no? I think it's until April 11th or 12th. So if you're interested in signing up, send me a message. Or just go on Virgin Voyages and take a look. Because they're literally giving away cruises. And hey, if you wanted to sail on Holland America, they're doing 45% off for their birthday. So, I mean, these cruise lines are actually almost giving away cruises for their birthday season. Now, I know we've been going really fast. So, I'm going to take a second to invite you guys to like and subscribe because this is not going to be the best cruising community ever without you guys. That's right. Now, cruise topic number two is something that you guys may love or not love, to be quite frank. Now, if you guys have ever sailed on Princess, the Emerald Princess in April 2024 has just announced that they are going to be changing the itinerary for that very cruise because there is going to be a solar eclipse that is happening in 2024. That actually is not going to happen for another 20 to 25 years after that. So, my question to you, is that important? Is, are you guys going to book a cruise because of a solar eclipse? Now, hold on, let me preface. They have a lot of activities. Princess has scheduled a lot of activities around this solar eclipse. And again, you can't look up straight at the sun when there's a solar eclipse. So they have the glasses, they have parties, they have uh, watch parties, they have pretty much everything for the solar eclipse. Something that I've never done, and honestly, I'm kind of thinking about it. And I'm interested to know in the comments, would you guys ever cruise on a solar or a lunar eclipse? Or for that matter, would you guys ever cruise on a holiday? One of my favorite holidays to cruise on is Halloween. And a lot of you watching this have probably cruised with me on Halloween. So, in fact, your favorite holiday to cruise, or would you cruise on a lunar or solar eclipse? And would you love it? Number three, here's an interesting topic. Now, for the last five to eight years before Starlink or this newfound internet had hit the cruise industry, most of us use cruising as a way to get away, as a way to escape from technology, right? You would get on a cruise ship and your cell phone after you left the port, most of the time wouldn't work. And even if you bought the internet, most likely the internet was well, quite frankly, poop. And now, with Elon Musk partnering up with 
all of, now that's what I said, all of the major cruise lines, Starlink is going to be on every single major cruise line. Now my question to you is when you cruise, do you use internet? I mean, I always use internet. I like to be in contact with people. I like to post my vacation on social media, and I'm sure a lot of you do too as well. Um, but I'm interested in here in the comments. Do you guys like to use the internet? Are you excited about Starlink? Because Starlink is going to be, well, quite frankly, better than the internet that I'm using right now to post this video. So, and what an exciting time in the cruise industry to watch it grow. Now, we've seen Holland America celebrate 150 years. We've seen Carnival recently this year celebrate 50 years. That is a lot of cruising. Now that's all the cruise news I have for you today. If you like today's video, make sure to give us the thumbs up. I've given you so many ways to comment, so many chances to engage in the comments below. So I hope to see you in the comments and I will see you right here tomorrow for some more controversial cruise topics. Oh,